What's going on guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. Today we're gonna to be looking at a product from Bigfoot Gun Belts and that is their Riggers Belt. So this is the, the belt that I wear at work. Um, so I have a couple Bigfoot belts, this one, and then I have one of their original leather belts when they still sold them for alien gear holsters uh so mine actually has the alien gear stamping on the inside just a brown leather belt with a nice kind of uh stainless accessories but i wanted something a little more tactical a little bit more versatile for work i went through a bunch of different belts for uh cobra as well as just your regular slide belts and this is the one that i landed on that i'll tell you what i really like this belt so what you're looking at is a military grade nylon coating. And then as you can see, as I'm moving this thing around, it has a lot or a, yeah, an interior spring steel core. So if you look here, you can kind of see where the steel starts anywhere that it's flexible, like right here at the buckle and then back to here. The rest of it has that spring steel core in it, so it keeps it from being able to be crushed this way, as well as holding its shape. So if you do carry um, heavier items on your belt, you're carrying your pistol, uh, extra mag, you can use this as a range belt. You can use this as an exterior belt. You don't have to use it. You don't have to thread it through your belt loops. It's, you know, put a, a small, a thin belt on, like an EDC belt, kind of like the tra Travex ones. This would sit over top of it, put some keepers on it, hold it in place. Um, so it is a rigger's belt, so it does have, if you remove this little piece of Velcro here, it does have a hook for a carabiner for rope. That way if you're stuck somewhere, they can pull you out and it is functional. So it's not just for show, it is functional. I don't know what the weight range is on it. They don't actually list it, but um, your typical person, I would say up to 300 pounds at most. I wouldn't go too much further over that with it being at the edge of the nylon. Obviously the Cobra buckle can handle a lot more than that. Uh, let's see. So on whichever side you decide to run your, your spare through, most of the belt has Velcro on it. Because as you undo your Cobra buckle, the end of it here has Velcro on it as well. So you got a huge range of adjustment there. I mean, if I can, it's about the size, the width of my chest is your, your range of adjustment. So this thing will definitely uh, hold up to whatever you give it. Uh, it does wear out over time. As you can see here, you see some fraying on the inside. It's just minor. Uh, no strings or anything are coming up. It's just fraying some, or just uh, abrasion on the nylon. That's from my key keeper that I wear. And I've had this belt hmm, about a year, about two years now. I'd say about two years. And running keepers, cuff cases. Um, I run just a cuff strap now. It, I mean, it's held up to everything I can throw at it. Uh, we wear obviously big key sets at the jail and our biggest ones probably, I want to say it's probably close to almost two, maybe three pounds worth of keys. If, if you put enough of them on, when we do our tours, like we run multiple key sets, um, our one block or pod, whatever you guys call it, uh, theirs is probably close to a pound. So you're wearing a pound on your side all day, hanging from your belt. I mean, you got to have something that's going to hold up to it. And with that spring steel core, this thing does great. Tighten it down. Um, now, it will not fit through standard belt loops. So, like on the end of mine, obviously you can see it's fraying here because I have to run it through the Cobra buckle every time I get ready for work. But, yeah, two and a half years or two two years, That's that's the worst of the damage. I'm not even worried about that. Color wise, you can get it in black, tan, and gray. 
price range. Now this is where they're going to get you. Uh, smallest size available, $71.55 up to $100.67. Link will be in the description below if you guys want to check this out. Uh, honestly, if you're looking for a solid belt for anything, this is, you can wear this as an EDC belt if you don't mind the rigors attachment on it. It, it will hold up to anything you can throw at it. I, I haven't had a single failure with this belt. Cobra buckle locks in real nice. It is a genuine Cobra buckle as well. Just like the Condor belts that I've reviewed in the, in the past. So that's, uh, that's my... My work belt so if you look back uh, I did, just did a video here a couple days ago on my duty belt so even with having two Cobra buckle belts no problem honestly this is uh, uh, obviously ran through my belt loops to hold my pants up my duty belt goes around the outside and the two Cobra belts don't even interfere with each other uh, it most I usually offset this one anyhow so my other one might sit right here even that riggers attachment doesn't doesn't affect it so if you do want to wear this as an inner belt it's also another good option all right guys so that is the bigfoot gun belt rigger belt oh uh before i forget this is a inch and a half inch and a half wide belt so that's why when i said it won't go through the cobra buckle itself won't go through standard loops if you do have smaller loops this is an inch and a half, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys. If you like the video, definitely hit the like button. Don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section below. What do you guys got? What's, what belt setups are you running? Um, I like Cobra belts. Didn't really need the rigger setup, but it was this was the nicer belt, so this is what I got. Uh, if you have anything in that same price range, belt-wise, let me know what you got. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified anytime we drop a new video on the channel. That's all I got for you guys. Later.